All right, everybody, thanks for joining us for another awesome episode of Haunted Live here on the Travel Channel. I'm about to be joined by the Tennessee Wraith Chasers to talk to us about what, about what they just experienced here in the Two Rivers Mansion. You guys here? Yeah. All right. Yeah. What's up? What's up, guys? Yeah. They have a body out there in whatever land we're in. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> First of all, are you, are you guys glad to be out of these these two houses here? Oh, oh yeah. man. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. It, you know, you kind of grow a love for this type of stuff. Yeah. I mean, we've known it for so long. This is kind of like what we love to do for fun. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think we're crazy for it, but uh, you know, the spooky stuff gets us going. Only thing is, it doesn't seem like we have enough time because sometimes these things they get to talking. I'm about to. I am glad to be out of that attic though. Our <laughs> attic is just, yeah. it's just heavy up there, yeah. man. Not, not a whole lot went on, but it was just, it was just feeling up there, man. It's just crazy. Yeah, you guys didn't run into too much in the attic, but the, the, the live crowd watching on Facebook, they kept talking about seeing something crouching in the dark on the right side of the attic. And I don't mean like two people, I mean like a hundred people. Oh, wow. I kept talking about things in that when attic. You, when you went up there, maybe whatever was up there split. What's yeah. funny is that's actually what people were saying. Like, it died down when you were up there, then you left, and it all went started going again. Hmm. I thought this was, for my money, one of the most fascinating episodes of the season. You guys employed some new technology in this episode. The SLS camera led to, I think, some of the coolest moments of this show. Oh, yeah. New to us. Sure. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it definitely, when we were downstairs in that 1802 house, something about that wheelchair that's sitting there that that's creepy in general yeah but then as chris was over there you know with the meters and talking walking around this thing started sitting over there and trying to interact with him like he'd stick his hand out and it would try to touch his hand that was that was some amazing amazing stuff it was amazing it was small and it looked like it didn't have a head at least on the camera i don't know oh. if they usually do or not yeah. it was like at one point it looked like it was knitting like yeah, like yeah. really fast like i gotta get this done and it looked to me like <laughs> and i could have been wrong because i was trying to watch all the cameras at once it looked like it it stood up at one point out of the chair when yeah, you were interacting with it yeah it stood up and it manifested oh. into two things then we have a short thing and a tall thing right next to Chris at the same time. That's so creepy. And it's funny because it was earlier before you went in there where we caught the rocking chair moving. And it's been, I mean, that freaked me out. I yeah, mean, that, that was, was cool. cool to see that. And it, it to me, then it looked like something was getting up or getting in, like something bumped the back of it. The way it just That's exactly kind of jarred. Like. And then you guys came in there later and you saw something small in the chair across, just directly across from it. So it looked like maybe something small. And bump that. Now that's really neat though, that you also had the, the small entity there, but Brandon and I also had a small entity in the room with us here in the main yeah, house. I mean, as soon as I, we walked in the room, uh, like I put the SLS rig down and it, it was like it was just sitting in a chair chilling, and then he had his arm on the table beside the chair. I yeah. Mean, it just kind of stood To see him like, interacting with something physical there. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, that was a highlight for me. <laughs> I'm at it, so. I love when we were starting to wrap up at the very end, though, that was really cool because you had the SLS camera facing me. Mm -hmm. And and I'd been down there talking to, you know, seeing you know, the, the Native American spirits might be in there. And I asked them to touch the millimeter in my hand, the millimeter went off. But then when they came down there, they saw something on the steps in the SLS. I held the millimeter up, and it reached out to touch my hand, and the millimeter went off. So it's almost like that was corroboration that there really was an energy there that yeah. was trying to reach out and touch. Absolutely. So. Yeah, we saw that from where we were sitting yeah, too. It was cool. like, That's what's so cool about he gets the meter hits and we've also got it mapped out mm -hmm. and it's showing it reaching out to the meter yeah. and the meter going off at the same time. Yeah, so. it's, it's, it's one thing to get one piece of evidence on one piece of equipment, but when you have corroborating occurrences happening, I mean, that's that's some pretty good evidence. I think that's something the fans really saw tonight. I think that's a way that the, particular way this episode stood apart and that you had so many different things corroborating with others like the rocking like the chair that you caught rocking and then you see the figure right there mm -hmm. just so many instances of that tonight it was amazing oh, it was a good night man. this is the kind of night that we like to have yeah. anytime anything communicates with us it's been a good night yeah. have you guys been in, in these two buildings before or is this your first time First time. That's, I bet you're ready to come back already. Oh, yeah, we'd, yeah, stay, yeah. You know, we'd stay here for hours if they let us. You know? Every week afterwards, people say what we're fans saying. It's always we need two hours. Yes. Because it's not enough time. Things are just heating no, up and we've got to go. To me here at the Social Media Command Center with Mike, it feels like it's a 15 minute show. It just yes. goes yeah. so fast. It does. I mean, I mean you're in there in the moment, it just rolls. And it's going to be, we need three hours. <laughs> <laughs> we need four hours. Well, as us we as investigators inside, 
I mean, we're sitting here getting all this stuff, and time there is no time. Yeah, you're probably there. You're being just, sent from it, room to room. So right. It just goes so fast, yeah. and you're like, it's over already. You know, yeah. it's like we don't yeah. keep track of time. It's like as soon as you start getting that interaction, you make that connection, and it starts. It's time to move on to show some other piece of the house. So I mean, it's it's, it's hard to do that. And a big part of your job has to be building a connection mm -hmm. yeah. and that takes time it does well, it, takes you know, time. it does help that we've been here you know we come earlier during the day we go right. baseline sweep we try to make a connection then but right. it's still never enough time i mean we yeah. could spend a week here exactly <laughs> the history of this place is just unbelievable oh it's unreal well guys thank you so much for joining me here how can people get a hold of you online this guy's porter twc this guy's at mike twc this guy's at doogie twc this guy's at Chris TWC. And this guy's at Brandon TWC. And this guy, we got Peppermint Peppermint Patty. There you go. Thank you guys all for joining us, and I can't wait to see you again next week for Haunted Live.